Hey, my friends, Pastor David here with another Banding Together Midweek Minute. So this past weekend, we talked a little bit about the power of our God over ruthless things, over things that really come into our lives and don't show us a lot of compassion or a lot of pity. In the Hebrew language, that word means something that is fierce or something that is cruel. We might call them in a little bit more of a general way, something that is really hard that we have to wrestle with in our lives. And the scripture says that God has power over all of those things. Sometimes he chooses to use them for us, work miracles in our lives. And many of us can give testimony to the miracles that God has done in our lives. And many of us also know that we wrestle with the things that are hard in our lives. And sometimes we wonder why God doesn't do those miraculous things in our lives. And it's hard. It's hard to wonder and to question why God doesn't do that. But what we do know is this, that God is, is a God that has a heart that's good. His heart is good for us. And that he invites us, even when we cannot understand and we cannot explain why, he invites us to trust him and to declare when those hard things come into our lives, stop. You're not going to define who I am. I'm going to choose to trust my life into the hands of a God whose heart is undeniably good. I hope that has some power for you this week. When the hard things come, when they try to take over your thinking or your heart or your life this week, I hope you can declare, stop. I will not allow my life to be defined by the hard thing. I will choose to let my life be defined by the God whose heart for me is undeniably good. So the week that's coming, we're going to spend a little time with the Old Testament character Moses. There was a moment in Moses' life when he was being asked to do something significant for God. And God gave him something that allowed him to do the significant thing that God was asking him to do. God gives that same thing to us, and we'll talk about that this coming weekend in all of our worship services here at First Church. So I hope that you can join us. Until then, remember, keep looking up, and I'll see you later.